what if I told you that you could peel away toxic waste and radiation? Just peel it away with just a little bit of spray? Yes, it could be true. And happening right now, it's our big eye and it's next. Welcome back. Devastating just doesn't seem like a strong enough word for what the people of Joplin, Missouri are dealing with right now. The city manager says the tornado split the town in half. A storm chaser in the area says parts of the city are just unrecognizable. Now take a moment and imagine the massive cleanup for this area and all that debris that you're looking at. Beyond carting everything off in trucks, there is always a danger of chemical exposure in a cleanup effort of this magnitude. And think about Japan and their cleanup efforts from the tsunami. They not only have to worry about cleaning up debris, but also radiation. One of the products being used to clean up radiation in, the, in Japan is actually called Decon Gel. The manufacturers are based in Hawaii, and Decon Gel has the consistency of hair gel, if you will. Uh, and here to tell us much more about this is Eileen Zimmerman. Uh, she spoke to the inventor of this miracle goo. Uh, Eileen, thanks for coming on the show. Uh, first of all, tell us a little bit about how this works. Um, Deacon gel is a gel that goes on as a gel over radioactive waste, hazardous ma waste, it can clean up a mess lab, anything that's tiny microscopic particles, and um, it hardens, and then it can just be rolled up and thrown away. So it encapsulates whatever's hazardous so that it doesn't leak or leach out, so it's really safe and it lowers the hazardous level of the waste, and then it's just tossed out. And so you just, you just spray it on or brush it on? It's brushed on, and it can be brushed on almost any um, material, whether it's concrete or it's like a lab bench, um, wood. It just goes on like hmm. a gel. It's spread really thin. It dries, and then it can be rolled up, folded, and compressed and thrown out. And what sort of hazardous waste are we talking about that this gel can actually clean up? Well, in Japan, it's helping to clean up radioactive waste, but it can also be used for any kinds of um, hazardous waste, like... Um, the Department of Energy has used it in their labs to clean up beryllium, and it can also be used anything that's toxic. It was used to help clean up. There was a, a, a problem in a Western Hungary with um, a village that had an alkali sludge problem, and they had to clean up alkali with it, which can burn um, your skin on contact. So that went down, and it cleaned it up. Um, uh, anything like that, anything that's mm. dangerous, touch or, or be around. And from what I understand, this was actually discovered um, by accident. How, how did that happen? Uh, well, the CEO of the company is Hank Wu, who's in Honolulu, and he has a, a venture capital and technology acceleration firm called Sky Ventures, and they have a team of scientists, and they work on various projects, and they were working with some gels for something unrelated to this, and overnight, some of the gel fell from a lab table onto the floor. They came in in the morning, they cleaned it up, and they found out that the floor underneath was completely pristine, just completely white. Hmm. And they tried to match the floor around it by scrubbing it and cleaning up, and they couldn't. And so Hank says that's when they realized that they had something there that was pretty unique. Yeah, what a lucky discovery that was. I would imagine that this is a pretty hot product. Um, any, can you, you have any idea who's expressing interest in it already? Um, well, according to Hank Wu, he says the entire world is calling now, especially <laughs> since the unfortunate situation in Japan. Um, but lots of countries are interested in it because um, those that are worried about terrorist activity that might use radioactive or hazardous waste, but also any, like, universities or hospitals that have radioactive or hazardous waste that needs to be cleaned up. Um, almost any industry that deals with radioactive or hazardous waste is interested in what, um, uh, what CBI polymers and Deacon Gel have to offer. So he feels it's pretty limitless. Also, countries and organizations that want to stock up and be prepared for environmental disasters like what happened in Japan or yeah. terrorism. When we were talking about this in our uh, morning editorial meeting, we all thought it was pretty cool, but a lot of us wondered, uh, are there any toxins left behind once you use something like this? Or, or is it, I mean, is there anything in this decon gel or, or anything like that? Or it is completely clean and good to go? You know, what they tell me, it's completely safe. And what's really, really great about it is that it completely encapsulates whatever it's designed to clean up. So unlike if you're cleaning up radioactive waste with water and soap, you know, you have to contain the water. And that's really hard to do and it's really heavy. But with this, it's completely contained. It won't leach out. And also it can be compressed because with hazardous and radioactive waste, one of the biggest problems is, um, one of the biggest costs is disposing of it by volume. So this really reduces the volume enormously. And because nothing can leak out, it um, reduces the level of, the hazardous level of the waste.
Well, it is certainly uh, fascinating. Eileen Zimmerman, uh, thank you for explaining all that to us. Uh, and I love that it was discovered by accident. I just think that's great. Uh, appreciate your time today, Eileen. Thanks a lot. And to get more information on the decon gel and to read Eileen's entire article on the product, you can head to our blog, cnn.com slash alley.